Today marks the 10th anniversary of the September 11 terrorist attacks that brought down the World Trade Center in Lower Manhattan. Once the Ground Zero Record site was littered with metal and debris that burned for over 30 days. Now it is halfway through a remarkable transformation with the Memorial Park open to the public thanks to the workers and site developers like Jessica Schoenholtz of Silverstein Properties. The site is 16 acres. On the east side of the site is, uh, known as the East Bathtub, is where we're building our tower, Silverstein Properties. So in the distance you see four World Trade Center. It's up to 50 floors right now. And um, it will be completed in 2013, like I said. And then down there in the distance you see the, um, this concrete structure with the yellow formwork on top. That's the, the base of three World Trade Center. So as you can see, it's going to start to go right above street level. If you look over at Century 21, right. it's going to start rising above the ground. So people, when they're walking by, they can actually see the building going up. And it's really, it's an exciting, um, it's an exciting time. There's a lot of progress going on. Ms. Schoenholz is one of many site developers on the project. But this project takes on a special meaning because it was here that she lost her brother Alexander, a Silver Lake resident, in Tower One. It's, it's really transformed my life. The time that I've been here at, at Silverstein, I've learned I've learned so much about the history of the project, about what it takes to to get this done, and um, what it means for New York City, and also just talking to people, hearing their stories, hearing how they were impacted. It, it, important to me because when you're, I'm just a one little small part of it, but um, you know, for my, it's really more for my family. It means, uh, it means a lot that I'm here. I witness things on a day-to-day -day basis for my family. I, I saw the, the names going in. I saw the pools being tested. I saw the trees being planted. I saw all this stuff and it's just been really incredible. I feel it's such an honor. It's really spectacular and beautiful and moving. Um, you'll see when we go down there that it's a really special place. Now as she continues her work on the new World Trade Center, Alexander's name joins many who were lost that day around the waterfalls of the original tower's footprints, a reminder to all who visit to remember those who died so tragically on a day that changed the nation.